You've probably heard of hydroxychloroquine in the news recently, or maybe not so recently. Today, we're going to talk about what it is and what it's used for. I'm Wes Winter, and I teach AP Chemistry over at Fiveable. And if you were sitting in one of my classes, we'd be looking at the mo molecule of hydroxychloroquine, talking about the nitrogens and oxygens, maybe discussing the shapes around those parts of the molecule. We might even be talking about how each one of these vertices here represents a carbon atom. However, today we're going to look at hydroxychloroquine and how it affects patients with uh, COVID-19. Now, originally, hydroxychloroquine was used to treat and prevent malaria. Recently, it's also found some promise in treating uh, symptoms of arthritis and lupus. How do we know this? Well, interestingly enough, pharmaceutical drugs are put through rigorous testing, and we have a large sample size of patients. The larger the sample size is, the more likely that the results of that experiment will compare to the overall population. Now, at the beginning of COVID-19, uh, hydroxychloroquine was also claimed to lower the mortality rate of those infected with uh, the coronavirus. This was kind of an interesting piece of news. A lot of uh, news outlets and stations picked up this study and touted the end of the pandemic. Well, it's October and unfortunately we're still in the middle of this thing. So as a good scientist, what I went ahead and did is I went and looked at some of the other resources that exist for hydroxychloroquine. I wanted to see what there was that was out there. Generally speaking, if more than one news source is uh, talking about the published data, then that news source is probably legitimate. I also want to point out that science is repeatable. Generally speaking, a legitimate experiment should be reproduced by any other scientist using the same methods. Interestingly enough, a few studies that came out by the New England Journal of Medicine found that hydroxychloroquine did not uh, alter the patient's symptoms of COVID-19. They gave it to stu uh, people before and after they were hospitalized, and unfortunately, it did not lower or change. So that first study was not repeatable. The issue with this is that, as I stated at the beginning, hydroxychloroquine is used by patients with malaria, arthritis, and lupus. And with a large influx of people now wanting this to cure their COVID, it became difficult for these patients to get the me medicine they needed. Do your research, see what's out there, and see if the cure is actually there. Thanks so much. I was Wes again at Fiveable. If you guys want any more information, go ahead and check us out here. Thanks a lot.